and gentlemen, welcome along to another episode of Savage Milky Productions. Hey Mr. Wilkie, so Hello, today sir. we're looking at percentages. Percentages? Uh, I thought it was fractions today. No, definitely percentages. I, I, I'll be back in a minute. Keep going, keep going. Keep, keep going? Keep going. Okay, so you're right. Today we're going to be looking at percentages and how to calculate percentage of a number. Savage, who are you? I am Captain Percentage. Yeah. I love percentages. You love percentages. And I hear you're about to teach some percentages. Fantastic. Can you help me out? Promise I can. All right, let's get into it. Now, Mr. Savage, I love percentages. Right. Incredibly useful. They can help you work out things like discounts. They can get you to work out things like pay rises. Wow. Unbelievably powerful. Awesome. Do you know how to work out percentages? Um, I'm okay with them, yeah. So we're going to start off by looking at these percentages using a calculator. Uh, best way to start. Right. So are you familiar with this formula? I am, as a matter of fact. If we ever want to work out a percentage of a number, all you have to do is take the percentage, divide by 100, and then multiply by the original number. Okay, seems easy enough. Yeah, here's an example I've done for you. Would you like to right. talk the kids at home through this example? I think I understand now. So 65% of 20, I take the 65, divide it by 100, multiply it by 20, use my calculator, we get the answer 13. Tap, tap, tap. It couldn't be easier. Wow. And sir, this strategy works for every single percentage. That's handy. Every single time. Awesome. Can't get it wrong if you've got a calculator. Thanks, Captain Percentage. No problems. Now, Mr. Savage, there is some more exciting news about uh, percentages. Yeah. You don't always need a calculator. Wow, okay. So we could do a few of these in our head. There's only three that we really want you to be able to do in your head. Okay. And these are the ones here. 50%, 10%, and 1%. You can do all those in your head. You can do just about any percentage. Right, so how do we do 50% of 80 in our head? I'm glad you asked. 50% is exactly the same as half. So to work out 50% of 80, all I'm really doing is working out half of 80. And half of 80 is, of course... 40. Fantastic. So that's how we got our answer of 40. Well, okay, that's simple enough. It is. What about 10% of 200? Ah, uh, 10%, my personal favourite. When you do 10%, 10% is the same as one-tenth of 100. So all we have to do is find out one-tenth of 200 or divide by 10. Okay, so could the students use the strategy when we divide by 10, we grab the decimal place and jump it up one position? I hope they do. Wow, awesome. Lucky last, 1% sir. 1% is the same as 1 100th, so how do you think we will find 1 100th of that big number? So we're dividing 5,300 by 100, so that means we can grab that decimal place and make it do two jumps, because there's two zeros. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. 53. So if we're doing 1% of something, we simply divide by 100. So sir, 50%, how do you do 50%? Halve it. Perfect. What about 10%? Move that decimal place up one position. Incredible stuff. And last of all, 1%. Move that decimal place up two positions. So you're incredible. Now you understand percentages. Well, thanks Captain Percentage. I'm glad you showed up. No problems. I'm off to do some percentages with some more teachers that don't quite understand what's going on. Right. Thank you. Yeah, wow. Well. Mr. Savage, I'm back. Uh, Miss Wilkie, we've actually finished the shoot. So. Oh. Some math superhero guy showed up and got me out. Oh, finished the shoot without me. Oh, all right, that's okay. Okay, let's um, let's just go to class then, huh? Yeah, yeah. He actually reminded me of you a little bit. Oh, did he? Yeah, just a bit, a bit taller maybe. Uh -huh. 